Now that we've thought a little bit more about error handling techniques, we're going to do another activity. This is on pages 38 to 40 of the activity guide. In the training account, I'm going to browse the process library. Looking here for dev error handling activity 2. I'm going to install that in the same folder that is housing er the activity 1. Now, because we install that in the same folder, you'll see here that the database operation has been given that 2 to create a unique file name. But that's OK. All right, I'm going to choose the database connection, Boomi Training MySQL, and then for the two Salesforce connection connectors, I'm going to choose the uh, Boomi Training Salesforce connection. So in this process, we have a database that's going to read records as individual documents. The branch shape will create a copy. Here in path one, the map is going to convert from database to XML so it can be upserted using an external ID uh, as an upsert key into Salesforce. Then the second path here, the database to account XML transformation before upserting uh, the account to Salesforce. So let's run a test and look at the test results. Now, due to the varied uh, sources, data quality is an issue with this process. And it's going to throw two errors. So record three, if we look here in the logs, record three is missing a valid date. And it also encounters a mapping error in the database to account XML. Now document four is failing here in the upsert contact because it has a bad external ID. Now that you have an understanding of the process and the errors that we're getting here, you can follow the student design goals on page 40 of the activity guide to enable error handling. There are some optional steps at the end where you can deploy the process, subscribe to errors and warnings under setup to make sure that you are receiving the errors.